Okay, FAQ number 76. Do chick tracks teach lordship salvation? <laughs> uh, well, if you look up the word lordship salvation on YouTube, you'll see my face in quite a few videos, you know, heretic husky 394 xp heretic brian denley are teaching lordship salvation and what you have is this whole cult of jack hylesite people uh stephen anderson and you know all these other heretics and they are preaching a uh, gospel that has no repentance in it and if you even mention the word repent or repent of your sins or repentance or anything like that they just throw up their arms and say lordship salvation lordship salvation uh, meaning that you have to do something before salvation i'm going to show you what's really going on with that and uh trying to say it's work salvation therefore it's a false gospel uh nothing could be further from the truth and uh chick tracks i can tell you chick tracks do not teach lordship salvation let me show you here we have the bully this is a standard chick track we have the comic book here behind it i'll show you that too here in a minute but it goes through and, and has an interesting little storyline and things and um it gets to the point you get here to the to the end and zoom in on this here nobody else can save you trust jesus today it gives you romans chapter 10 verse 9 and here are the four steps Okay, admit that you are a sinner, or admit you are a sinner. See Romans chapter 3, verse 10. Be willing to turn from sin, repent. See Acts chapter 17, verse 30. This is where they'll say Lordship Salvation comes in. Believe that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose from the dead. Through prayer, invite Jesus into your life to become your personal Savior. Okay, now let me just stop there for a minute. I personally know of quite a few people that have taken those steps and they're saved. Their life has changed and everything. They're not false converts. They're not on their way to hell because they believe the false gospel. You know, again, shouldn't we be a little bit questioning of preachers that are saying, let's take a lighter attitude towards sin, saying to a lost person, you're going to have to turn from that life of sin. You know, that's let's not do that. Kind of weird. But uh, what about this thing of right there, number two, be willing to turn from sin, repent. What does that mean? Well, a true Lordship Salvation teacher is a Calvinist. Okay, a hyper-Calvinist will teach you that you have to clean up your life and make Jesus the Lord of your life and get rid of this and get rid of that and all these other things. And then later, the Holy Ghost will grant you repentance and then you can get saved. Okay, so in other words, you have to clean up your life before salvation. And then people say, that's what they're saying right there. Um... Let me just point out something because I realize most of these easy believism people are brain dead. Okay. Um, do you see any kind of time interval between number two and number three? No. You see, this is all happening at the same moment. It's not, you know, admit that you are a sinner, be willing to turn from sin, and then eventually when you've turned from all of your sin, then you can believe in Jesus Christ. See, that is Lordship Salvation, saying you have to cleanse your life and turn from all your sins, and then eventually God gives you repentance and you become saved at that point. That's Lordship Salvation, true Lordship Salvation. Okay, saying to somebody, you're a sinner. You understand that, don't you? You know, I mean, the old saying, a man can't be saved till he knows he's lost. What's the purpose of you getting saved? I want to go to heaven when I die. Why? Why can't you just get there by being a good person? Because you're not a good person, you're a bad person. You know, it is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief, Paul wrote. You know, you have to show people that they are sinners and understanding there has to be a changed life. You know, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. That is a conditional verse. It says, if any man be in Christ. And I preach that thing till, you know, I mean, I just preached it so many times and these, these people are, are lost.
because they hold on to their sins. You know, you have Jack Hiles out there and he's preaching against repentance and the guy's fornicating with his one of his deacon's wives, going over and, and staying with her, building her house and things like this, paid for her divorce, taking her and other women to Hawaii and leaving his wife at home. I mean, the guy's a fornicating scumbag and he's teaching that there's no repentance. Gee, I wonder why that would be. Because he himself has not turned from those sins. He didn't come to the point of being broken and saying, I'm a sinner, I need to be saved. See, when you're a sinner, you understand and you see, hey, this is wrong, this is negative. How can I quit this thing? You can't. You can't quit your sin and then eventually one day get saved. That doesn't work. But what you do is you come to the Lord as a sinner and say, man, yeah, I'm willing to give up this stuff. I need your help, God. That's why you're there for salvation, you see? You see how that works? See, it's all part of the same thing. This all happens at one point in time. Let me just show you the, the Crusaders comic just to show you it's in the back of this thing too. Down there. Of course, it's much bigger because you have the comic, you know, and everything. See? Right there. I mean, if you know, think about the hypocrisy of this thing. I know I'm a sinner. I need to be saved because of these sins. Or are you going to turn from them after you get saved? No. No, I have no intention. You know, I'm a drunkard now, and I'm going to be a drunkard in the future, you know, and I'm just going to continue doing it without any conviction of conscience, too. I'm not talking about you get saved and you struggle with that sin until you finally get victory over it. I'm not talking about that. We're talking about a willful continuance in sin, things that you know is wrong, condemned in Scripture, and you just continue it in anyhow, you know. And these, these easy believers and people, they'll debate this back and forth. And the whole debate is centered around them saying, take a lighter attitude towards sin. Take a lighter approach to sin. That's the whole thing. They're trying to justify their own sins. Because in their pride, their self-righteous pride, they've never been broken. They've never come to God, just totally destroyed and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Like the publican did. They never get to that point. So, you know... I could go on and on about this thing, believe me. But the fact of the matter is, no. Chick tracks do not teach uh, lordship salvation. Uh, lordship salvation, these Satanists, these false converts, are have been trying and trying and trying to redefine what lordship salvation means. Lordship salvation would put a huge... Let me move this thing back here. Lordship salvation would put a huge gap between number two and number three. This is a time interval right there. Okay, you have to turn from all of your sins and then get saved. It might take you two years, three years, five, ten years, but you have to turn from all of your sins and be sinlessly perfect, essentially, and then God will save you. Uh, that is satanic heresy. But saying to somebody, you're a sinner, and after you get saved, the Bible clearly condemns what you're doing. It condemns you. You're going to have to turn from that. That's not Lordship salvation, because we're saying after salvation. Of course... People that preach repentance understand, we understand, you can't as a sinner, you cannot turn from your sins, all right? But you can know, hey, when I get saved, my life is going to change. Again, that's why a lot of people don't get saved, because they understand when I become a Christian, I'm going to be giving up a lot of this stuff from my past through the power of God's Holy Spirit. God's Holy Spirit is going to move into the person's life. He's going to change things. All right? And again, you know, I get these easy beliefs in people. Yeah, well, you shouldn't tell lost people that. You shouldn't tell them that they're going to have to change and they're going to have to live a new life. And what? So you lie to people? And again, that's, that's again, what it's all about because Jack Hiles, he was all about numbers. Oh, we had 3,000 saved this weekend. What'd you do? Well, we told people to bow their heads and pray the prayer. You're saved. You know? And you see testimony after testimony after testimony. If you haven't seen the Jack, Jack Hiles study, watch that because I get into much more detail there, but you see people and they say, I didn't even know what I was doing. They rushed me through this prayer. I'm in line. I'm getting baptized and I'm going, what happened? You know, a pastor that I used to know, Guy Mosebrook, he had the same thing happen to him. He was, you know, a victim of this Jack Hiles mentality, this easy believism, Satanism. And he literally said, what do I have to do to get saved? Because these guys wouldn't get off of his back. They were up on his front porch, you know, witnessing to him. And they would just not take no for an answer. So finally he prayed the prayer of salvation. And they said, oh, congratulations, you're saved. And he's like, in his mind, he's going, I'm not saved. I'm just doing this to get rid of you. That's the point. Uh, so 
when people come out and they're saying, oh, Jack Chick, you know, they teach Lordship Salvation. They're lying to you. And by the way, uh, JesusIsSavior.com, that's another Hiles graduate, another Hiles heretic. Stephen Anderson, another Hiles. He didn't graduate, you know, but he went to, to Hiles and I think he, he like left Hiles Anderson cult there. He left it like a month or two before he was going to graduate. So he's a Hiles cultist. Uh, the, what is it, David J. Stewart, I think his name is, from JesusIsSavior.com, another Hiles heretic. So don't believe these, these satanic ministers of hell, all right? It just, oh, it just makes me angry. I mean, I was a false convert. That's why I get so worked up about this. I was a false convert that went to a Babel building and was told, just pray the prayer and you're in. That's all there is to it. And yet I'd look and I'd read the Bible and it's like, my life doesn't line up with what's going on in here. What in the world? You know, I'm doing all kinds of sins. I have no ability to fight this stuff and everything else. I, you know, and I finally came to a point where I was broken and I cried out to God, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I knew I was a sinner, finally. And you say, would you, were you willing to turn from those sins then? I wanted to turn from those sins. I wanted a new life, you know? So don't believe this lie that Jack, Jack Chick Tracks are teaching Lordship Salvation. It is a total lie.